So I just exited the Bateau Channel, heading up the St. Lawrence River, coming in from Lake Ontario, heading in the direction of Gannon Aqua, which is right across from the Thousand Islands Group. My plan was to find somewhere in and around here to anchor for the night and do some exploring in some of the islands that are in this area. So I, I decided to pull into a moorage just outside of Gannon Aqua here, because I gotta get some supplies and a few things. There is a lot of boats here. This is what I love about these anchorages. You know, you can just hop in the dinghy and go explore. So let's hop in the dinghy and take a look. Go check out some of these islands. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys just little tastes of what it's like to be in this area and cruise in this area. For anyone seriously thinking of cruising in this area, I suggest you stick to the channels. They're clearly marked. There's a lot of traffic here. It's a very popular cruising spot for local cruisers. Heading up to St. Lawrence River and out of the Atlantic. We found this spooky like house on this island here. It's just weird. Let's go take a look. Somebody has put like a, just a really temporary structure here. Look at this. Wow, what a trip. Somebody spent some time trying to make a, like a hearth or a chimney here. <clears throat> webs everywhere. Oof. Look at that one. Big old spider. Looks like they've like, you know, boarded this place up so no one can get in. But it is pretty cool. Very cool. It's just like some sort of hold down dock. Just use that pulley right there. And you can fold down your dock for your boat if you live on this tiny little island. Maybe no one's claimed it and somebody just kind of built a little structure here. It's one thing that I do miss is because this is fresh water, there's no smell of the ocean here. You know, like when you're when you're near the Pacific or the Atlantic, you can smell it. Even within like five kilometers, there's a pong of fish and shells and that sort of thing. And the adventure continues. In the next few weeks, I sail into some of the coolest places I've ever been. And I'll be uploading some videos about that very soon. So just remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching SVEV Sailing Evie.